Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Engineer's Guide. Let us talk about the foam system. And today we are actually going to test the foam. And for those of you who have not seen foam tested before, this is the current that you're going to see. This is the network, and this is actually controlling two rooms that is, um, generator room and fuel tank room, respectively. And it's being controlled with just one tank, so you could see an actuator there which will open when there is pressure when it goes in. So, when when we would want to test, okay, we will start with the manual pull station that has been pulled. So you would see that now the hose that we've put there is just getting pressurized. And you have to make sure that you have a lot of people to just hold it. If not, um, the line could just be swinging down left and right like that. And it could just be hurt. It can hurt someone also as well. Mostly we test using the electric fire pump. And this is just the beginning now. We just, yeah, so you could see that the pressure is just coming up but now during this time around there will be the foam and the water mixture then when we are doing the foam testing we test in 30 seconds in 45 seconds and 60 seconds and after the works are being done the system has to be shut off so you need to just close the valve there intake so you could see the actuator here it's it has extended so extend extension will always open the valve so then the water will just flow through we did a video similar to this so i just wanted to add this one up so this is how the test is being done so after 30 seconds you would see uh, you'll be told that you can just pick the sample so you will just be taking the samples all right then after 45 then after 60 seconds so this is actually the foam that is being spread out here already and the main purpose of doing foam testing is called it's called the conductivity test just test the <coughs> amount and mostly the foam that we're using is aff three percent so definitely we need to just get the figures as the premix when we first test we will just take the samples and just test it before and from there after we have done the testing we could just get the average and see if it will be falling between the three percent and the four percent like that so that range is where we need to just be getting so as for us to just pass so it's really important to just know the testing is used in measure the ionic content or the presence of conductive impurities in the foam solution and this helps for the key reasons of a quality control mixing accuracy the contamination detection and aging and degradation monitoring also as well so it's really important to just do the conductivity test that is why it's highly recommended please like and subscribe to our channel this is engineer's guide so you can i will leave a link to the video of form system. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.